today I am playing Chasm Climb. It has an options menu with all sorts of goodies. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm using a controller. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I can't use the control stick, but that's okay. I'll get used to this in a jiffy using the D-pad, that is. Huh. Okay then, so we got um different objective compared to last time. We have to collect a bunch of bodies before we can beat the, the level. Or a body, at least. Uh, is it supposed to be silent? There's no background music. <laughs> this is a bit off-putting. Well, okay, I'll just uh, trust the dev. That's cool. I like how he flashes when you get near him. I don't know, this um, challenge feels a bit weird. Um, jumping up between vertical things like this. Well, vertical um, platforms above each other. Okay, I'm not really sure what the point of that was. It's basically guaranteed to get you hurt when on the way back. From the health, pick up that. Wait, what? Am I going through this backwards? Oh, I think I'm going through this backwards because... Wait, what? Why did it kill me twice? Okay, that was weird. Don't know if that was a bug or not. Background could use some parallax. It's a bit boring just having... Because you already have three cloud layers, even. Yeah. Okay, let's go where the arrow is telling us this time. Cool, we have uh, air jets. How exciting. I really don't like how I reset over here. It's kind of unfair. Doesn't feel so great having to do the walk of shame <laughs> every time you die. Oh boy.
Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Why did, isn't my encounter going up? In the top left, it's still at zero, despite picking him up. I guess it doesn't increase until you get the, um, to the end of the level. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to skip getting that guy until I can figure out where on earth the end of the level is. Can't exactly um, collect the guy for real until that happens. Are those jumpable? Huh, were those jumpable? They didn't look jumpable. Maybe a perfect pixel jump? Yeah, you can jump further than you imagine. Yeah, it's pixel perfect or whatever. I like the animation work on the air poofs when you um, land. And I believe they also occur when you um, die and fall through the ground. So that's cool. Huh, so I think I got deflected despite shooting him in the butt. Which isn't... Um, Covered in metal. I mean that or maybe my hook did the thing where it somehow missed his backside and then hit his front thing and that's why it clinked. Oh, you gotta be. I don't even know why those spikes are there. They basically serve no purpose besides hurting you if you hug the wall when you fall down. Water section. Ah, oh, cool, a new enemy type. But what, what even happened? Ah, uh, no. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, water physics feel about. Right, I suppose. <clears throat> what? Aw, oh, man, I thought they were like those um, Mega Man enemies that go side to side until they hit a wall. They didn't track you directly. Oh well, now I know. Ugh, jeez, that's really close. Or really tight, rather. Ugh. Okay. That's my fault, but didn't feel like it. Jeez Louise, where where is the end of this hell? <laughs> where on earth does it end?
<sighs> I think I said this before, but adding um, respawn points would do wonders for making me not feel like this is all a waste of time. Or when I say before, I mean the last time I played this game. Why is that pixel perfect? Like, the game has no benefit for having pixel perfect jumps like that. It just makes it more annoying. Okay, so this connects with the other path up there. Um, this is something else. This is the challenge, quote unquote, for um, getting the other guy. That feels like a waste of time. hell even is this? How are you supposed to not die here? Like that, I guess. Cool water? Yeah, I'll be honest, I am not having fun. <laughs> this just sucks so much. Because I... I mean, the, the game was already challenging last time I played it, but now it's almost insufferable because of... How you have to restart such a large level. Over and over. And you have to walk right for like 20 seconds or whatever each time you die. Oh, okay. So, the only thing I did there was press the X button or the hook button twice. So, like, I pressed it once and it hooked onto the thing, and then I pressed it again to see if I could release a hook without jumping. And yeah, it crashed. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Let's test that again. Okay, well, it isn't crashing now. Um, oh, so, yes. Yeah, I can let go without jumping by pressing the hook button again. I wouldn't say that's 100% intuitive. So maybe state that you can release the hook early, unless you already did, in which case I'm a dumbo. Oh, okay, I didn't, because I was just scanning what these tutorial prompts said, and I didn't realize it meant by letting go of your input directions. I thought it was just giving you the basics that, oh, you keep momentum when you jump from a hook, which would seem kind of obvious to me, which is why I kind of, you know, looked over the fact that apparently it means you go faster as well. That's weird. Okay, so this might be a case for for using the momentum and not moving the input stick. Okay, it is. I don't know, maybe that info should be delegated once that actually matters, like in this case, but... And it just doesn't feel... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to make that, am I? Um, it is, I don't think it's that intuitive anyway or am I supposed to I guess I'm supposed to jump and turn around in midair 
Was I even touching that thing? Okay. Oh, now the respawn works. Okay, so I guess that was a bug too. Fair enough. Okay, so the respawn didn't work, so I'm just going to assume that you somehow coded it to only work the one time. Just the thought I had right now, it would be nice if there was um, an indication of how many um, yellow friends we have collected thus far throughout the level. So I just collected one a bit ago, and it feels a bit weird that I don't know I actually have it to um, redeem at the exit. Wow, that's really difficult. And hey, look, I finally got something on the counter. Cool. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not really enjoying the game that much. I imagine it's a good challenge if you like precision platformers. So yeah, in um, totality, the visuals, I think, look nice. The physics are still a bit foreign to me, even playing for a while. But the gameplay concept itself is quite fun. Being a spelunker with just a hook shot to traverse the underground. I also like the simplicity of the design. So that metal is stuff you can't um, attach to no matter what, and that applies to both enemies and the world. So it's a consistent through line. And to reiterate, I'm not that big of a fan of the open level design. I'd much rather have a more concise structure than having shorter levels, at least at the beginning. Should make it easier to um, become acquainted with the game. So yeah, that's that.